वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश सिक्स सो स्टेटमेंट इज द वुड बीम हैज़ एन अलाउेबल शेयरिंग शेयर स्ट्रेस ऑफ सेवन मेगा पास्कल डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम शेयर फोर्स वी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड टू द क्रॉस सेक्शन सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम द हाइट इज टू हंड्रेड द वेट इज ऑल्सो टू हंड्रेड मिली मीटर एंड अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज सेवन मेगा पास्कल सो वी हैव बीन आज टू फाइंड द मैक्सीम शेयर stress uh, force so let's start with the solution as we know that uh, shear stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t so we are interested to find out t a v so from here we know that v is equal to shearing stress into i into t divided by Q. Okay, this is Q. Clear. So we do not know I. We do not know T. We do not know Q. So let's start and move and uh, find first this I. So we will first find this I. So you can see here this is the beam. So this is two hundred. So if we divide it into two equal parts, so its neutral axis uh, will be. like this one so this will be its neutral axis and it will be at a distance of 100 milli meter okay now first what we will do is that we will take this whole section clear and its uh, i will be equal to i is equal to 1 over 12 its breadth which is 200 and that is 0.2 uh and its height which is 0.2 and then we will subtract this the moment of inertia of this portion so i will write i is equal to 1 over 12 bread its bread is this is 200 mm so 200 mm is equal to 0.2 m so 1 over 12 b which is 0.2 into height height is again 200 mm which is 0.2 and that will be uh, cube clear minus 1 over 12 breadth of this so you can see the breadth of this is 100 mm clear and that is 100 mm is 0.1 and its height is also 0.1 m cube clear so when you solve this you will get the moment of inertia for this cross section that is shown over here and that is 125 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter 4 now we have this uh, moment of inertia clear and we will move to find this q and we know that q is equal to um uh, sum of y dash into a now you can see we have three portions about the neutral axis one is this one clear the other one is this one both these are same and third one is this one so we will find let this are these are this is number 1 clear these are number 2 clear so we i will write it y dash 1 into a1 plus 2 times y2 dash into a2 so y1 dash now what will be the y1 dash so if this is one number 1 so its centroid is its centroid will be at a 50 divided by 2 so this is 0.25 Zero point two five, zero point two five, not zero point two five, twenty five millimeter, and it will be zero point zero two five. So this distance will be zero point zero two five millimeter, and again you can see this distance is also zero point zero five. Okay, so total this will be y one dash. this will be y1 dash and that will be equal to uh, 
जीरो सेवन फाइव मीटर सेम फॉर वाई टू इफ द हाफ ऑफ दिस विल बी दिस वन एंड दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मीटर क्लियर फ्रॉम द न्यूट्रल एक्सिस सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वाई टू डैश नाउ वी विल राइट वाई वन डैश विच इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव इन टू दिस एरिया दिस एरिया एंड दिस एरिया इज जीरो पॉइंट वन मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इन मीटर सो आई विल राइट जीरो पॉइंट वन मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव प्लस टू टाइम्स दिस एरिया दिस एरिया सो दिस एरिया इज दिस हाइट इज वन हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर यू कैन सी दिस इज वन हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर सो इन मीटर इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट वन एंड इट्स विथ विच इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव सो एरिया विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इन टू वाई टू डैश एंड वाई टू डैश इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव ओके सो दिस विल गिव यू क्यू now you can see that uh, we have the value of q as well and thickness what will be the thickness so thickness will be uh, total thickness will be 0.1 okay so thickness will be 0.1 and i is 125 so you will have to put the value in v is equal to uh, शेयर स्ट्रेस इज सेवन मेगा पासकल सो सेवन इंटू टेन एस टू पावर सिक्स आई इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू टेन एस टू पावर माइनस सिक्स एंड थिकनेस एज इट इज एक्टिंग ऑन दिस पोर्शन क्लियर सो इट्स थिकनेस इज जीरो पॉइंट वन मीटर सो जीरो पॉइंट वन डिवाइड बाय क्यू एंड क्यू इज दिस वैल्यू That is mentioned. Zero point zero five into zero point one multiplied by zero point zero five plus two times zero point one multiplied by zero point zero five square. So when you solve this, so you will get v is equal to hundred into ten to the power three newton n. If you further simplify it, so V is equal to hundred kilo newton. So this is the shear force that will act on this rectangular cross section of the beam, and having allowable shearing stress is seven mega pascal. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my. latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching